Hello everyone, this is Ben from Obsidian Opus and today we are looking at some of the models I've painted so far for my Warhammer 40k army. Uh, they're mostly primary space marines and ultramarines. I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, I would like to showcase some of the models here. Actually, we'll be looking at all of the models here. <laughs> There's no point just looking at some of them. Uh, Alright, let's begin. Let's go with the HQs first. Here we have the Primaris Captain that I've painted in Ultramarine colors. Uh, there's an up, old upgrade screw that I've found and I've picked out the head and uh, shoulder pad for this. Lost his stringy bits at the back but who cares about that, it breaks anyways. So I've seen a lot of people paint their power swords a certain way by blending light blues together and I tried that, it didn't came out quite exactly what I wanted it but it's fine and his lieutenant right now this guy uh, so a lot of people have commented on how his face looks and I would say uh, I didn't do a great job on the face but just turns out so I think it was a happy accident that he came out this way I don't even remember the recipe for the face that I did with this but it inspired me to get more faces painted next one i guess this is the primaris tech marine now when i was painting this guy he he was actually one of my favorites to paint because there's so many intricate details to cover up and and do a good job over but this arm keeps falling out when i was transporting him and this gun as well i really don't like that and this arm is this extra servo arms here uh, this thing broke so many times and as you can see the staff is no longer straight from packaging transporting it around on to the next model we have my primaris ancient now he has a very nice banner i think i painted it decently i did quite the minimal details on him because i don't foresee any time soon that i'll be using him I gave him green lenses instead of red and it was a big mistake because you can't see it. The banner was okay but I'm too afraid to write the script. Some people have told me to use marker pens. Well, you're gonna have to just wait for a long time before I decide to touch any of the script. Look at that. What the hell is that? The Librarian. Okay, this one from here, from this angle, you can see it looks super good, the face. And then when you come closer, looks like a horror piece. I guess the lighting really helps. I guess you should keep it in very nice lighting and you will never see that the face is poorly painted. It's kind of decent looking. I fucked up the sword really badly because I wanted to get an orange glow but I do not know how to do it back then. This was painted quite a while ago and I have not decided to fix it anytime soon. This is my airport carry and as you can see, he's missing a, a piece of whatever is on his backpack here. I do not know where he went. Cat probably ate it, but who cares? I do not know how to do the bobble thing, the liquid line thing yet at the time when I was painting him. And it was never done. Uh, he's not actually white, he's actually a kind of a very light grey. And next we have the other lieutenant. This guy came from the Dark Imperium box set, I guess, with the other one not care about this guy that much because I don't play him ever. So I painted him once, gave him a few highlights but I didn't went any further with that. He's not really my favorite model of this. And next we have my chaplain. I swapped out the head for a reaver helmet that I got from a first strike kit or something and it turned out pretty decent. Uh, I didn't like the actual head that it comes with because it looks like some character from overwatch i think i did a pretty good job i did not have a prop brown to highlight this the gw way or heavy metal way but uh i made two and it looks pretty decent i'm just not too fond of using a chaplain in games anyways but he looks good and i think that's all that matters all right so this is my hell blasters 
I picked this up from a local game shop and I was told that the assault variant is better so I had to get all the assault stuff. This was the last thing I painted before I went for a tournament and I think I did a decent job on it. One of those guys uh, gave him a silver arm. See, he's supposed to be for the Death Watch but then I found out that people that return from the Death Watch for Ultramarines are usually lieutenants or sergeants. They get very high rank when they come back. And not just a guy holding a gun. One of them also has shoulder studs, uh, harkening back to the Horus Heresy models. Actually, when I was painting this guy, he didn't have shoulder pads, and just so happens the Horus Heresy trailer came out, and everyone had shoulder studs, balls on your shoulders, and I decided one of my guys should have it, just for fun. Uh, it was not that fine. Done. Look at the detail on the on the studs and you see there's some weird ass elongated ones. I don't know why it looks like that. Next up we have my intercessors. The sergeants for this squad are quite well done. This one is one of my favorites. He has a he has a very weird pose. Very very weird pose actually. He's like throwing a grenade while holding out his rifle like that. And the second squad has this guy as a sergeant and he looks like he's pointing everyone to go away from him. I give him the same gun arm because they have all the bolt rifles here. One day I'll probably chop off his pointy arm here. I do not know what he's pointing at and maybe give him a sword or something. Chain sword, power sword, thunder hammer, why not. Also in his squad is a guy with scars on his eyes. This is part of a phase 2 plan for painting my ultramarines. He's giving them battle damage. So this guy is a proof of concept of losing an eye, I guess. Next we have the infiltrators. Sergeant here has a very cool pose. He was not a sergeant when I got him from the box set, but now he is. I did quite an okay job on the face. I was getting very lazy with my models at that time. Uh, I found the infiltrators very hard to highlight because the edges were kind of rounded. They're not really sharp on the details for this guy. And now we have my Blade Guard Veterans. Now this was cream of the crop for me. Because I actually spend the most time painting these guys. They don't look quite what I wanted them to look like, honestly. Um, I did pretty well on the sword. Uh, they all have a very nice blended look to the swords. Maybe some of them look less better. So, and I painted all their faces instead of giving them helmets. So I marked down this guy as a sergeant and it all looked out pretty fine. Funny enough, during the tournament, on the first day itself, someone knocked down my tree with the blade guard veterans on and broke every single one of them. Luckily the storekeeper was nice enough to help me put them back together and he did a very good job. You can't even tell they were put back together. Next we have my dreadnoughts and these guys, man did I love painting these guys. So many intricate details, reminds me of painting Gunpla again. Some parts are nicely magnetized and some are not. I did not magnetize the arm because I think it fits just snug. I magnetized the waist and add some blue tech to hold it together during transport they will be separated like this and the arms will be off as well theoretically a good idea but when you're displaying them they rarely stand straight so you get like a leaning back dreadnought half the time this is my impulsor and as you can see despite magnetizing the gun it's not staying as well as it should uh, even magnetize the shield dome here magnet there and it slams in because it's too big magnetize this and this was part of the <laughs> this is the other half of my army that fell down when the guy knocked over my tray and as you can see this was magnetized there's a antenna here that I've never found and this piece here just chipped off like this I guess it looks good now it's like calm it's like battle damage and lastly, we have my tank, the Gladiator Reaper. Now, I did not magnetize the, the side sponsons on this at all, nor did I magnetize anything on this, in fact. 
uh, maybe the base. The base is magnetized, but that's for a different reason. That's for transportation. Uh, I kind of like the colors I picked out for this guy. I did this yellow accenting on the sides to give it a cooler look and it's actually from Gunpla. Recently a lot of people have been painting their Gunpla with like multiple tertiary colors but they're all accent colors and I decided this guy should have the same treatment and it looks pretty nice. It looks like a very old ultramarine color scheme where they use gold instead uh, yellow instead of gold and yeah it turned out pretty fine. The third guy here is actually from a repulsor executioner kit. The gun that came on the top turret here was the same one on the repulsor and I didn't like that at all because there's no man on there. So uh, it looks very barren if I can say that. So this guy sits up here now holding this gun on an awkward angle shooting down on the hull. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I have producing it. Do tell me if you would like to see more Ultramarines on this channel. Uh, in the meantime, I will be painting up models from a Warhammer Quest Silver Tower box set which will probably take a few videos to complete. Do subscribe to see more of that when, when it comes out and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!